But like how, when I was born, how old are you now in like the standard constructs of time? What? 12. That's why I can fuck kids. Oh. Welcome back to Show Me Yours with Jackie and Johnny, everybody. I'm Jackie Agnew. And I am Johnny DeVito. Jackie, what the fuck are we talking about this week? Well, well, first of all, we have coming up for you a real good episode. Peter Grant was here. We oh, uh, was a fun time. Yeah, yeah. He brought in an album that we, I think, pretty successfully avoided discussing much. well we have <laughs> talked a lot on this podcast we've talked a lot about a lot of varying topics not mm -hmm. much music mm -mm. has been really discussed um i mean if you're if you're gonna pick pick apart the minutes you know that we've gone over for this podcast like mm -hmm. what has been music what has just been um you know us hanging out and shooting the shit mm -hmm. um it's a little bit leaning more towards shooting the shit than it is towards music and this episode is not going to disappoint yeah, yeah, and you know, if you don't know Peter, he's a, a local comedian, and you know, he came on to sort of talk about this new uh, this new group he's he started, and you know, just told us a bit about his almost his like theme. a way of life that he's found, yeah, right? which is really cool. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. it's not for everyone. Definitely I, not for us. For the record, we don't agree with any mm. of his opinions, yeah. But, um, you know, we gave him a, a platform, which maybe we shouldn't have done. Well, the thing is that he's a friend of ours. He's a friend of the show. Yeah. Right? So. And he had us both on his He's been gracious show, enough so, to. Yeah. Uh, his show that will remain uh, unnamed. We'll get into that a little yeah. bit later. But I think at the end of the day, life is about um, coming together. Yeah, it's exactly. having different peoples with different we ideas. Want, you know, yes. really, really coming together to express... Um, you know, a lot of their feelings together with no animosity, right? No, no trash talking, right? The fact that we mm -hmm. kind of uh, don't really regard Peter as like a good person yeah. or, um, you know, somebody that we would generally socialize with any other no, way my God, has no. nothing to do with the fact that we don't love him as a person, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and want to continue the great friendship that we have together. So it's a little, it's on rocky terms. Yeah. Right? You know cool. what, when we first, I mean, we're obviously on this podcast, we support pretty left wing views. And when we first met Peter, he shared a lot of our ideals, but it's now true. he's sort of living in what some might call the, the super right. He's, he's, right. he's gone far over like he's yeah. there, there's there's alternative right yeah right like so the and way there's that I far look at right it, but then there's super well there's exactly yeah. there, there, well there's rock music right like there's like mm -hmm. rock music and then there's like alternative rock mm -hmm. you know what i mean right like yeah. there's you know there's many different umbrellas to rock music right mm -hmm. like whereas um like uh i like a little bit of like like a little bit of punk rock a little bit of ska mm -hmm. you know what i mean it might be yeah. like a little fast or whatever but yeah. you know i'm a sucker for love songs right yeah where Peter has gone and like maybe gone like stepped over the boundaries like beyond like a death metal beyond mm -hmm. everything like these he is completely radicalized and there's no way that we can really bring him back so yeah. all we can do is just kind of um, support him as a as a as a living human being that we don't want to see die yeah I mean love is the answer to everything hundred percent and we're trying to set an example here when we bring on someone with despicable views you still you show them love and maybe eventually they'll come around. So we just ask you to keep an open mind when you watch Peter, obviously on the surface, absolutely terrible person, terrible views, abhorrent, yeah. uh, has hurt a lot of people and plans to hurt many more. And but I mean, that's the problem, right? That's the yeah. problem that I have with it is like, mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you, you can move on from mm -hmm. your past, yeah. right? I'm a big fan of um, rehabilitation. I'm a big mm -hmm. fan of like, you know, somebody kind of seeing the light. And I mean, whether that light be Jesus or not Jesus, yeah. you know what I mean? It has, yeah. it, it, as long as somebody's making an active path to be a better person, mm -hmm. then I mean, I'm in their corner. Peter has never expressed that he wants to be a better person. No. Um, but he's a person nonetheless. Yeah. And we respect him for that. Exactly. Now, with that being said, we have a, a story to discuss before we get to Peter. Um, actually, sort of about his people. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So the, the anti-maskers and the anti-vaxxers are at it again. Interesting group of people. And it's wonderful. I love them. I love them a lot. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just like a sucker for entertainment. At the end of the day, like, I just want... Um, I'm tired with... Uh, 
I'm a people watcher, right? Mm-hmm. I like to watch the people when I'm hanging out, and um, they're infinitely fascinating. In the past few years, they've been getting a little boring. Mm-hmm. Everybody's looking at their phone. You know what I mean, right? Like, you can't see crazy in the streets as much anymore. Mm-hmm. Not anymore, Jax. Yeah. Not anymore, and uh, please <laughs> tell us why. So, there's a new conspiracy theory within this anti-vax, anti-mask group, which I guess are two different groups, but I think there's a lot of crossover so are we, there. Are, we don't want to step on any toes here. Is mm-hmm. the anti-mask and the anti-vax, are they, uh, is there any specific um, line drawn in the sand there? Or, because I mean, I feel like they're, when the freedom rallies and everything, it's like yeah. anti-maskers, anti-vaxxers. Yeah. Um, there's like really weird shit um, like yeah. going on in there. I want to say. I mean, like I. I w- <laughs> like you still get chemtrail people showing yeah. up at the at the anti-mask. Like I, if, if there's been a if there's been a global pandemic for like two years. Yeah. And there's like a rally for that. The one guy with the chemtrail sign that he's still holding up is yeah. awesome to me. Yeah. Because like, you know, conspiracy theories used to just be fun to like joke about. Yeah. You know, and now it's kind of like. I mean, I yeah. do kind of love the idea that there's like. An anti an anti masker who like sees anti vaxxers and they're like that's where I draw the line yeah. that's fucking yeah, dumb yeah, yeah, that's I like fucking that. ridiculous I like that. there's got to be one of them that, I'm right? sure I'm sure there is a subsection yeah. that that only adheres to one or the other but and honestly I think like largely, show me yours at uh, gmail.com what's our email we, I'm sure we have an email uh, Marilyn Daryl Productions Marilyn Daryl Productions dot com it'll be in the links um, please email. send us um, your opinions because I don't know a whole lot about this like I'm mm-hmm. just kind of going off of what we read and what we joke about but yeah. if there's like if somebody has like an actual you know um, a solid foothold in the sand here that mm-hmm. maybe could give us some more information please reach out yeah but uh and so this new conspiracy floating around is that basically the the gist of it there's a lot of different sort of uh variations of this theory but the over the overarching yeah. idea is that vaccinated people will shed a specific protein or part of the virus and will infect those who aren't vaccinated. And this is sort of a, an offshoot of the the larger uh, conspiracy that COVID um, is was brought upon us, was planned to depopulate the world, and that the vaccine is what is going to cull the masses. And so now uh, anti-vaxxers specifically don't they're they're talking amongst themselves and basically saying that they should distance themselves from those who are vaccinated and some are now wondering if they if them and their families should be wearing masks to protect themselves from those who are vaccinated way to 180 right you know what i mean right way to just turn everything around i'm a big fan of skateboarding still even mm-hmm. in my 30s even though i can't do it anymore yeah but like um you can get really technical with a lot of uh, my apologies everybody um you can get really technical um with a lot of like flip de doos and yeah. wild shit right but there's nothing more stylish to me than a 180 yeah and these motherfuckers that <laughs> are gonna sit there and uh, it's okay I was, what I don't want to be disparaging to any group of people because mm-hmm. I think at the end of the day, what what I see mm-hmm. is just people are afraid. Yeah, it's just right? fear-based. But the problem uh, most is... Most of them. The, the, some of them are actively, you know, doing sure. harm. But sure. for the most part, but it's people that are afraid. Exactly, yes. right? Yeah. And nobody... Uh, the problem is now is that um, everybody has so much information in their pocket, mm-hmm. right? Like at your tip of your fingertip, you have like more access to knowledge than has yeah. ever been in the history of, of humankind that mm-hmm. we know of in recorded human time, right? Maybe yeah. like the iPhone before, like while they were building the pyramids was popping yeah. with a lot more cool shit, right? But we don't, yeah. we don't have that information, right? Yeah. What we have now, um, basically everybody's an expert. Mm-hmm. And if you've read something, regardless of where it came from, you know what I mean? Regardless of, of, of source and fact checking or anything like that, um, the idea that your opinion is stronger than, you know what I mean, facts, mm-hmm. is is great to me. And I and there, there's a lot of different aspects here, right? Because wearing a mask is wearing a mask, right? That's kind of keeping people safe. The lockdown and a lot of businesses are put at risk, I think, for reasons that maybe not everybody agrees with. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm kind of like, we should definitely... I, you know, so we'll, sure, we'll, we'll, it's a, we'll leave it's a whole, that, that, yeah, it's, we'll, we'll leave all that shit up to the powers to be, right? This mm-hmm. isn't a political podcast. This yeah, is we're not, not talking about the, no, the no. COVID restrictions or anything. Absolutely, or, yeah. right? But what we are talking about are, are people that are afraid in the same sense mm-hmm. that um, Magic Johnson goes to play um, 
in the All-Star game mm -hmm. in the 80s, right after announcing to the world that he's had HIV, mm -hmm. right? So during this media frenzy, mm -hmm. when all that the All-Star game is, is just the best basketball players in the league are going to come together and play a game. Right. That's basically what it is. It's going to be a three-point shooting competition, mm -hmm. a little dunk competition. It's a fun weekend, right? But Carl Malone specifically is the one that's standing out saying, mm -hmm. I'm not playing with this motherfucker just because of like, if he guards me and like rubs up against me, then I'm going to get some <laughs> HIV, right? And it sounds very fucked up. Like when you go back and watch the, the footage now, yeah. you're like, this guy's an ignorant piece of shit. No, he's so afraid and he's un and, and, and uneducated to what the mm. to what the issue is, yeah. right? And a little bit not sympathetic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know well, I mean? and it's but, similar because it shows like a fundamental misunderstanding of how sure. uh, these diseases or viruses or vaccines work because obviously we know now uh, it wasn't as uh as widely known uh in earlier times but we know now you can't catch hiv from someone from rubbing up against them there well, needs Jackie, to be an the, exchange the, yeah, of but the mask fluid. thing has been going on for like a hundred years right? but what, that's what i'm well no here. but what i'm saying is that this this conspiracy that you are at risk that if you're not vaccinated you're at risk of people who are vaccinated shedding yeah. the virus on you that shows a fundamental misunderstanding of how vaccines work because that's not possible <laughs> especially particularly with the covid vaccine they're not they're not injecting an active form of the virus into you like there's just no way the the way that the vaccine i'm not a scientist i'm not going to pretend to like explain all the minutia but um i have a, a an interest in this topic because it's what's gonna keep a lot of us alive and, and you have a phone gonna... in your pocket too you could do a little research yourself yeah right? and um there's just no the way that these vaccines are made there is no way for the virus to shed from you because they're not injecting an active form of the virus into you. It's just not possible. Allegedly. Sure, sure. Uh, I yeah, don't, I don't, I, yeah. I, for the sake of comedy <laughs> yeah. here, maybe. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do we think that... Well, okay, so her, let, let, let's turn this on its head a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be devil's advocate for a moment because the reason that conspiracy theories are fascinating to me is because... A lot. Some of them have turned out to be true over time, mm -hmm. right? When I was a kid, um, I was like uh, George Bush, right? Nine Eleven, all of that stuff, right? Yeah. So I, was, I really be, kind of became um, fascinated with all this stuff, and I'm from also from Canada too, right? So like on the other side of the border, it's been interesting to kind of look at. While you know, like any good Canadian does, like you um, put blinders up to the atrocities that are happening in your own country, right? Yeah. You know, so you look at America, right? Like yeah, any exactly. good Canadian. That's what we do. In of Canada. course, right? Yeah. So while I'm doing that, um, you know, Seattle riots, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of great punk songs have been written about that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, uh, and uh, you know, we held hands and uh, walked through the streets of Seattle. And mm -hmm. when we went to throw bricks through the Starbucks window, you left me all alone. I know. All alone. I'm sorry. Um, during that time, there are boots on the ground and like um, agent provocateurs that mm -hmm. you would call them, right? People said it was bullshit, blah, blah, blah. It turned out to be true. Um, in the 1920s, the um, prohibition, ban on alcohol, mm -hmm. there were conspiracies saying that there are poison bottles of booze going out to the public into the black market or whatever that is poisoning people. And I believe a U.S. governor was actually poisoned and, and died, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, due to this stuff or whatever, right? And some people say that, uh, well, they said, and, and it was later proven to be kind of like a government supplied. You know, mm -hmm. So this has been going on since the 20s, you know what I mean? Yeah. This stuff, uh, d holy fuck, do I believe this shit now? <laughs> Why am I crazy to think that this might not be at a larger scale through vaccines? Now, holy shit, Jackie, I might just be on the other side of the fence now. Why? Well, because everybody was dumb a minute ago, but now I'm afraid. <laughs> right? But I'm not. I'm right, not. I, right. I, I, but I, 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 the difference, I think, from like the anti maskers or, or, you know, the, the specific group of people that is mm -hmm. going out and, and causing all this ruckus, all these knuckleheads. Mm -hmm. The difference with me is that I just don't know anything. Right? Yeah. And so, like, I mean, you can, you can kind of spot the pattern, you know, and see. So, Jackie, explain to me why this might be completely inconsequential or might not be a problem to worry about at all when we've had you know what i mean so much history you mean the like the back yeah so i think it's normal 
I think everyone is a little bit afraid, uh, like the vaccine in general, because uh, it feels like it was developed quickly. Yeah. And we're in the middle of this madness and all of a sudden a vaccine pops up and it almost feels like too good to be true. And we're like, well, how the fuck could this possibly work? Because it's only been like a year and a bit. But um, these are all these look, are all my fears. Jack. Yeah. And I fears. think everyone feels that to an extent. I think that's totally normal. But the thing is that if you is that it's science and if you look at how these vaccines were developed, it's not. I mean, we we watched the John Oliver episode <laughs> on we vaccines. Did. So we it's did. not we based. Did. It's not like they were skipping steps making this these vaccines. It's that they were doing things at the same time that usually would be done one after another. So they were doing... It's a multi-step process to make vaccines. They were doing Hopefully. multiple steps at the same time yeah. rather than... And then they also yeah. had uh, tons of funding. Mo all the funding that they needed. Money wasn't an issue. And mm -hmm. also volunteers for trials was not an issue. So all yeah. of these things enabled them to speed it up. And it was... Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, when you just explain it like that, like, that makes, a, like, a lot of sense. Yeah, it's not like they skipped skipped anything. Like, this is a fully vetted Wait, vaccine. Well, like, everything the, what, has what been done. What about the step where they put the, 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 the nanobots? Yeah. What if there's, like, what about that? Like, I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, right? Like... At the end of the day, this is going to save a lot of lives. Yes. And, right? Uh, if you want to look to anything where the government is trying to call the herd or anything, you can find it on Walmart shelves, in fast food lines, in... I mean, incredibly deregulated, um, yeah. um, high risk employment opportunities that you could take. You know what I mean? A lot of yeah. people are losing their lives at high rates and a lot of other, um, areas that, um, if you want to really like stand against your government, maybe stand against your government's willingness to supply corporations with the mass amount of, mm. um, influence you know what i mean and and, and wealth yeah. in our and, our and i'm not smart enough to really like like i said this isn't a political podcast this is a yeah. music podcast yeah like, as, course, as you can tell obviously. you know what i mean um on the like so but what i could even me because i'm just an ignoramus right for the layman <laughs> jackie yeah um i was just trying to play devil's advocate and mm -hmm. then immediately scared myself into anti-vax and then now i'm back <laughs> again right okay, so like and yeah. i'm just a regular person yeah you know what i mean, I mean? I I, the thing that for me is that i don't care enough about anything to stand like full like wholehearted in yeah except for like you know what i mean um the fact that uh you know what i mean just like the the people that i love right the mm -hmm. people that um that care about me the people that um you know hold true to the fact that you know i'm like the first black man to pilot an aircraft mm -hmm. you know what i mean probably like it's a great accomplishment it, it, it was pretty yeah. cool right um you know what i mean i invented basically the ground that we walk on right so like that's mm, the that's the yeah. sentiment you know that i mean that the aura that i live with so i can't understand yeah. when somebody's giving me a hard time in line at wendy's yeah of course right like yeah. the world revolves around me yeah you know jackie right so yeah. i can't understand you know what i mean trying to make somebody's day a little bit easier mm -hmm. or even in the fact that even if i am vaccinated and somebody isn't right like the fact that you have to draw such a hard line in the sand and say fuck everybody else when really like maybe you know wearing that mask might put somebody that's at risk that is leaving the house for the first time in a little while maybe a mm -hmm. little bit less um you know it might, might quell their fears a little bit or whatever when you're just walking down the street rather than looking at them in the face and calling them a fucking asshole for wearing a mask yeah you and i think I mean? yeah um but I think what I love about this conspiracy theory is that it's pretty much the problem is solving itself. Whereas like we yeah. all of these anti-maskers that won't put on a mask and won't social distance have now somehow they've somehow come full circle in this new conspiracy. Oh, is there even a 180? This is a, is a 360? Yeah, where they've like arrived at this new theory that they've oh, so cool. they've just they've made this whole new justification in their minds where now they have to wear a mask to protect themselves from the rest of us. And so it's sort of like I uh, to me I'm like okay like you sure know, you can be a little bit late yeah. to the party but you can yeah. still groove yeah i'm like sure if right? you if me if you thinking that someone who's vaccinated is gonna is gonna shed something and that makes you want to wear a mask sure 
fine, whatever. You know what's weird is you the people that are that, afraid yeah. of me shedding things also have had unprotected sex with me in the past 12 months. And if you want to talk about whatever <laughs> I'm shedding onto them, it ain't a COVID vaccine. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, right? I'd like to see like where you draw the line. Yeah. You know, which is which is really fascinating <laughs> to me. And there's so many yeah. like this fucking hack bit by now is like, mm-hmm. you know, the same people that I've done coke with for 10 years or whatever are now telling me about, you know, mm-hmm. like vaccines and science and stuff mm-hmm. like that, which is fascinating. But that's, um, eh. Yeah. It's kind of true, right? In the sense that my roommate, um, should we, yeah, fuck it. Well, you I, know, it's Mazi from episode three. I remember most, uh, he was dating a, a lovely gal. Mm-hmm. Um, no hard feelings. And I don't want to put anybody on blast here, but he had just gotten his first shot mm-hmm. and was told by this lovely lady that she doesn't want anything to do with him for risk of shedding. This isn't just a fucking Vice article. Jackie, when yeah, we pitch this to like talk about this today on the episode, mm-hmm. this was a Vice article <laughs> until I went for a cigarette maybe 10 minutes before we started yeah. filming and my roommate told me this yeah so this is actually close to home yeah no this is actually it's just bizarre to me but um i mean and honestly i'm kind of for it because it's it's not only harmless it's helpful because it's getting mm. people who don't want to wear a mask to wear a mask. So yeah, whatever. If you think dig it. you're dangerous because you you have uh, your vaccine, and you want to wear a mask. And, oh, I have to tell you this. Oh, quote. The idea that the freedom fighters are now putting muscles on. <laughs> yeah. So this was one of my favorite quotes from an anti-vaxer. He is a a pediatrician living oh, in New York, <laughs> and he says that Bro. people with the vaccine should quote have a badge on their arms that say I've been vaccinated even though it's not a vaccine so that we know to avoid them on the street and not go near them anywhere in society. <laughs> it's a healthcare professional? <laughs> yeah, this, this guy's looking Holy after fuck. some people's kids. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and what a badge that would be. <laughs> well, you know, Jackie, he sounds like the kind of person that in the 1940s he would have he also recommended badges, of, of for, badges for badges to people. identify people. I'm, I'm vaccinated okay. even though it's not really a vaccine. I would love to wear that badge. <laughs> If they're handing them out, yeah. if they're handing them out, like I want to wear, I, if you could get like a cloth patch so I could sew it on my jacket, it would yeah. be like, you know, a little bit more punk yeah. rock, but that is fucking crazy. Right? He's a pediatrician that's looking after kids in the state of New York, um, mm-hmm. New York City or And upstate. he's an anti-vaxxer. I don't know where specifically in New York. So an anti-vaxxer, anti-max, masker. Um, I, but I'll, I'll watch the John Oliver episode too. There was a pediatrician mm-hmm. in there that I mean, yeah. they, 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 but there, there, there's a, it's a vast scope, mm-hmm. and a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on it. I'm not gonna say like everybody's dumb. I just want to do comedy again. So like, yeah, what, what you, like I feel like. It's not that fucking difficult. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, like we've right. all, and it's the thing that that gets me is that so many of these people that are n- not getting the vaccine are the same people that have been the most vocal about the lockdown and bitching about how how unfair it is and all of this shit. And some of, uh, I mean, obviously there are there are different factions of people who are against the lockdown. There are people who th- who believe that it hasn't been fair to certain to small businesses and and the, like, let's get serious and there's the, a lot of businesses that we love that well are yeah no i'm saying yeah. that i those points are valid to me yeah. so there's a spectrum of people who are against For the sure. lockdown but a lot of people who I, I i just i can't understand that logic where anyone who has been against the lockdown for any reason who is not getting vaccinated that makes no sense to me personally i i mean like i i'm not you know shitting on anyone's I'm sure you I'm sure everyone has a reason why they're not probably most of it is fear based but mm-hmm. I just want it to to be done. That's I want to get I want to be part of the solution, you know? And I yeah. Oh, that was a bad one. No, sorry. I mean, I'm going to leave that one alone. I, but yeah. the, No, you're absolutely right. The <laughs> Like the thing that we have here is just a fucking failure to communicate. All right? At the end of the day where every buddy's kind of personal beliefs and like conspiracies get tied into this thing and um the problem is is that in a in a whirlwind Mm -hmm. it's really hard for you to decipher what is right and what is true and what you know what i mean there's a lot of information coming at you and we're all have been like on some level like 
scared for the last like year and a half so in i some have been now i'm like not only fucking scared i've become content with the life that i'm living and that is like that's just real like what i realize now is that i'm afraid that if you want to take like an introvert that just listens to music and writes jokes like mm-hmm. if you want to take me out of society pff, fucking okay see you later oh yeah right? you know i think I mean? I... Like, we've been like so much like so fo- like not necessarily like okay with this right there's a lot of um a, a lot of hoopla you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of bullshit or whatever that's that's got into a thing. But what I just realized today is that the only thing that I miss is like, you know, my friends, mm-hmm. and my family, and doing the things that I love. Yeah. You know, right? Going out and, um, you know, and just shitting in the face of everybody else, you know, for trying to do what they feel is right seems to be not the way to get a positive response Mm -hmm. or to promote positive action right like if if you want to go and do okay we can be in the park if you want to go and do shows i I don't i don't know the answer jackie i don't fucking have it but what i do have is a a whole laundry list of dummies you know what i mean that are fascinating to watch right that are funny for the first part but at the end of the day it's just like dude you can admit that you're afraid yeah, you know I exactly. Mean, right? but, like, or you can admit that you're pissed off, right? And when you're pissed off, you're pissed off, right? But going up to, um, you know what I mean, handling the situation in a, in a particular way isn't going to do anything, right? Because a lot of the times what you see with people that are pissed off, they're going to approach the, the, the situation with comedy, right? Or with, um, you know, sarcasm and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, and really make everybody else that is, you know, for better or worse, just doing what they can to get yeah. through this thing. You know, when you do your best to call everybody else stupid nobody is gonna go you know what he's right right this isn't a fucking south park episode right like nobody's like pointing out satire that's clearly dumb mm-hmm. right and then we can all at the end of the 20 minutes you know come to agree like oh yes scientology religion whatever you know what i mean like it, mm-hmm. it is silly right this isn't a south park episode though yeah well and um, i think because like everyone whether you're you know you're afraid or you're anxious or you're going stir crazy or you're angry or upset the, we've all been living in sort of this weird uh, changed like mental state for the last like year and a bit where you're just like on on high alert in some way and that after a while it like fries your nerves and it like fucks with how you react to things so of course when the vaccine comes around you're gonna react in a heightened state whether you're like so relieved you're like crying you're so happy or you're so scared that you're gonna you know, say, you're so afraid. yeah you're gonna be like <laughs> fuck i don't want to be around you if you get this vaccine because you're not no one is thinking like i don't think anyone is really thinking completely rationally because we've all been in this like heightened state for the last like you know year and a half almost mm-hmm. so you're you're not reacting as you normally would no one is fucking calm right now well you know what like it's 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 interesting that you say that and now that we've like kind of gotten that we've, we've really hammered that point home Right. So like you and me, we're clearly kind of, you know, a little bit in the dark. Right. And a little bit kind of uh, curious to see what the world is going to bring. Right. Mm -hmm. The guest that we have on this week. Right. Is not curious about any of this. No, no. The guest that we have on this week (laughs) has all the answers. Yeah. You know what I mean? To this topic Mm -hmm. specifically. Yeah. And um, like, should we roll the red carpet right now? Yeah. I mean, um, look. You you came here for some good, lighthearted fun, some, you know, pretty rational discussion. What you're getting is a is a fear monger, is a, a leader of a pretty questionable movement. Yeah. Yeah. But what um, you also have here is a friend. And yes, don't discredit the people that you love. Mm hmm. And if you can't listen to this and understand what comedy is, don't leave a comment. Yeah, <laughs> just come at it with an with an open mind and a more open and, butthole. And uh, yeah, if you are gonna leave a comment, talk about how cool this is. That's pretty sweet, right? right? <laughs> he didn't mention it. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, without further Anyways. ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Peter Grant. <laughs> tits out welcome back to the program everybody <laughs> this week we are pleased to present to you actor comedian registered sex offender hitler youth known pedophile <laughs> one of the staunchest republicans of all time ladies and gentlemen the proudest boy we are pleased to bring you peter grant <laughs> dude i'm gonna start the, i have to start the headquarters in vancouver now 
Proud well, yeah. Boys Unite. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> it's an interesting stance you decided to come on such a leftist podcast. Like we do promote some pretty uh, yeah. some pretty left wing ideals and punk rock uh, sensibility here. So it's I cool that it. you decided yeah. to show your face. Well, well here's it's the thing. Smart to wear sunglasses. It's yeah. hiding my identity. Exactly. It's it's Clark Kenting it. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No one's actually gonna know who I am. No, yeah. but I, I feel like we have to have a conversation about it, right? Like you can't just be left. You can't just be right. Like you have to have left and right to having a conversation. So let's have a fucking conversation. Fuck black people, right? <laughs> 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 No, let's get into it. Let's Ladies and gentlemen, we are off to a great start. <laughs> Peter motherfucking Grant coming in hot. Dude, what I are mean, you um, do? What are you I, don't, do? I don't know. I'm very fond of him. Like, is it just the, yeah. is it the food? Is it the culture? Like, what do you, what do you hate? The uh, most it was just the joke. It was. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. You don't, don't want to delve into that one? No, no, no. We're, I'm happy to put a full staple on that one. <laughs> and in classic right wing <laughs> piece of shit pussy <laughs> form, he right? backpedals the fuck uh, right uh, out of his position and talks um, the talk but won't walk the walk. I believe on that on that point, I'm happy not to walk the walk. Smart decision, man. Well, thanks for coming on. Hey, man. Always happy to be here. Yeah. yeah this is exciting. I mean, um, you brought us a record this week that um, was pretty exciting for me and Jackie to listen to because normally our relationship with you is more like um, uh, on the higher side, right? Like we like to party, we like to joke, we like to giggle a little bit. Uh -huh. And you brought us some smooth, sultry sounds from the Dude, sea. Some yeah. folk um, music from Australia. Oh, uh, yeah. We yeah, were kind of like, we were thinking this morning, like, does, does Peter want to bang? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what. Yeah. That's yeah. what we thought. Yeah. So yeah. can you? The only thing that we could find. Oh, check. Uh, all we know about the album is that it's called "Land and Sea" by Ziggy Alberts, and there's no other information. So why don't you, uh, you tell us uh, why you brought this album in, and you know what it what it means to you. So Ziggy Alberts, he's mm -hmm. a musician from Australia, from mm -hmm. uh, up on the east coast, a place called Byron Bay, which is basically paradise. On, on earth yeah good idea I'm cracking a beer as yeah, well yeah yeah sure oh, yeah, um, yeah. I mean would that make sense if you were making this kind of music like you'd have to be from paradise oh like, dude I'm not from oh, paradise yeah. and like halfway through this album I'm kind of like fuck like the, is, is all you it's do is chill place. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like uh, so he was homeschooled for like his whole life until like grade 12 kind of thing okay. taught himself how to play guitar I can't he, and he played it on his lap like when he started mm -hmm. but I think he either learned how to play left handed like Jimmy or learn how to play left-handed on right hand, whatever the way he did it. Okay, yeah. But yeah, so he had like the backward style for a while as well. But um, cool. I met him when this album had just come out because I was up in Byron Bay at the time. Mm -hmm. I met him up there and he was busking this album. Like, And I'd have, I was like walking around telling people just like, hey, just like 10 minutes of your time. I'll pay you $5 if you hate him. And people would sit around for 45 minutes, listen to him. No shit. Play all the songs. Yeah. Very cool. So this was his first studio album i guess mm -hmm. and uh or indie album like full album he had yeah. a couple eps before that i think and yeah so well you can tell he has um he does a lot of fiddly bits and just kind of stomps <laughs> his way through that and it, it, it does yeah. have that it, it the fact we didn't get to listen to it on a beach or like you know near a fire or something yeah, like that, that i think that environment thought. environment is huge yeah. for this totally yeah. and i did it did definitely like remind me of the music we'd listen to like at home on the the island that you just put on yeah. like at a beach or whatever yeah it's just yeah. like it's like the first time when i moved over here i i put that record on when we were camping and it was like people from fucking prince george like northern oh, can we swear on this thing uh, absolutely not. Okay, this okay. is ki a kids friendly <laughs> right, podcast. Left wing, I know. Yeah. Left wing. <laughs> uh, I can, disagree. Let her <laughs> fucking rip, buddy. You can, uh, you can <laughs> no, disparage black people all you want, <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah. how dare yeah. you? <laughs> We're pro racism, yeah. anti profanity on this show. I love that. That's such a good stance to have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but please uh, swear all you want. Yeah, so we went More, camping. Actually, we can't fuck it, whatever. Um, <laughs> we went camping, and these these people from up north never heard of this guy before or anything. And we camp, and we played his album on repeat and repeat. And that's what you, when you're talking about environment, like, yeah. do shrooms, do shrooms, and fucking listen to this album. Like, that's, that's yeah, definitely yeah. like it's fucking perfect. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, he sits there with a, a a drum, a kick drum in front of him. I don't know. I'm not a drummer, so mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know the actual word. But it's the one with the foot pedal. That you, the, the, a bass drum, yeah. yeah. Bass drum, yeah, bass yeah. drum. Mm -hmm. And his guitar and a candle on top of the, on top of the thing. And then even when he tours, that's how he he sets up. Just the with sultry the sounds. Like is this oh, is bro. um, is the entire lifestyle there just like smoking, chilling, uh, like having sex or whatever? Because like this seems to be. Yep. Like there's mm -hmm. there can't be a care in the world, right? Like when yep. I listen to music. I have a lot of cares in the world, right? There's a sense of urgency to a lot yeah. of stuff that I listen to, right? I'm kind of like, you know, it gets me through. I'm, there's no way that I could ever... No, you can't be angry. Like, um, 
Yeah, but there's no way I can calm my brain down to the point where, like, oh, this the, is that's my the music. Yeah, that yeah, 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 I'm yeah. listening to every day. Like yeah, when yeah, I go yeah. home and press play, yeah, if yeah. that's the shit that you find me, yeah. I'm like gonna be wearing a dashiki or something like a robe on a. <laughs> Dude, you've got a straight yeah. jacket on. Your mental hospital banging your head against yeah. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> That sounds more appealing to me, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I don't like the beach, dude. Like, I really don't. You don't like the beach? beach? Not really. not like really. the outdoors, period. Yeah, you know, I'm not. <laughs> right. I mean, I like looking at the outdoors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So from sit inside. inside. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how hard you have to work cool to enjoy to the outdoors from yeah. this position here? <laughs> Dude's making fucking money. Oh, uh, dude has some good roommates. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so did, is... is all of Australia kind of like island music. I only know a few bands no, that have dude, come out well, of there, like, right? But there's like a there's a couple punk bands that have done it and yeah. ACDC, I think, is all. Well, I but know. then uh Amity Affliction was out of Australia, weren't they? I have I I there's the like there's team. some like fucking hardcore like a lot of like battle of the bands, uh, just like underground battle of the bands, and then yeah. there's Australian hip hop as well and if you're into like Is Bliss and Esso? Bliss and Esso. Oh, cool. so this, okay. That yeah. was the fucking running up album for this. No, no, no shit. Yeah, dude, oh, okay, Bliss and Esso. Cool. That's like Yeah, yeah I, I picked have, the folk yeah. instead of the <laughs> <laughs> you have, Yeah, you could have brought in something I know dude, about. I, I brought, own a couple of their albums. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh yeah, like but like Australia's got its own it's so weird, man. Australia's got like its own fucking music industry right sure and like yeah. right. you'll never hear about them over here like yeah how many australian artists do you know well i think that's got to be the same is there like there's got to be a film industry there i mean they're you're yeah, making you art be in, doing stuff over there but it, that it, no one else knows about. how much of it ever gets demand, over here? you know like so right. like the american market it's supplying 3.2 billion people around the yeah. world right. whereas the australian yeah. market's supplying 28 million people in australia mm -hmm. so that's why do you get any like bleed over into like the uk or into like um, new zealand and stuff like that yeah or is it, uh yeah, you oh, can. Yeah. Okay. Don't bring up oh, the other one. Oh no, yeah, ever again. Oh, oh that, wow, that's fine. Okay. But um, okay. just, I didn't know. I didn't mean to bring up a sore spot. No, no, it's all right. Like, are they just better than you at a lot of things, or um, is there? It seems like that's a little like a like a hasty kind of aggression. Yeah, it seems almost insecure. Like coming Jackie. in hot. Yeah, 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 it screams insecurity to me. Interesting. Do you care to go so further? Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You bring a Kiwi in here right now and I'll show you who's insecure. How's that sound? Oh, I don't know what that means. Can we have a little context to <laughs> we'll, this, Peter? We'll put Ziggy <laughs> Alberts on sure while we have a death means. match. What, what, <laughs> a where, can can you unpack the, the hostility here? Do you know what a Kiwi is? I, a fruit, yeah, I Yeah, I, I, I lived with a Kiwi for three years. R.I.P. Jackie. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Uh, I love you, Claire. Shout out. No. Come beat the shit out of Peter. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll put Ziggy Alberts on and we'll have a death okay. match. Okay, so we're, we're just going to tiptoe around. We're not going to get into the, the into the Australia-New Zealand hate. Well, I think that's yeah, fascinating yeah. to me. Is, I didn't know that there was any beef there. Like I mean, imagine imagine finding a Down Syndrome version of Johnny DeVito. Well, I did. And, and I then mean. everyone tells you that they're better than you. Well, I sent them to work for me and everything. It's actually like... <laughs> it's actually quite... Like, it's pretty dope. Yeah, he, he's locked up right now, but he comes yeah. in handy sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Like Bart Simpson on that ep the Halloween <laughs> yeah, episode with the fucking twins. Brother, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be very pleased to get a little fresh air tomorrow and do the yeah. job that I'm paid to do. Right? Exactly, yeah. and I'm sure he he likes the fact that I know about him. You know? Yeah. Well, like, he's yeah. falling in love with you, and I think that like your relationship is getting a little bit um like too far. It's making everybody in the house uncomfortable. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are willing to run away together, then I will approve of that once you like pay a dowry okay right yeah. because right now he's yeah. working he's technically an employee exactly right I so i would need some kind of compensation to let him you know start a what start if a i was to bring a yeah. team with me good business pardon me what if i brought a came with me if you could trade him across the board i would, I would have like to give you something else oh, ran away with him like, oh, oh would, would that be oh. that's what i'm saying <laughs> that would break my heart because yeah. i'd see all the pictures and i'd be like it could have been me it could have been you <laughs> yeah but you know i'm not one to stand in the way of love so yeah i would you know i'd have to be okay with it yeah i mean i'd be just live and let live we'd have a couple somber episodes i think i would be i'd be bringing in a lot of um you listen yeah. to a lot of Ziggy Alves. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. this is a music podcast <laughs> all Allegedly. of the albums would tur turn into acoustic albums i think so right or something like um uh, like love myself. ballads no not acoustics like i want like um like hair metal power ballads and stuff mm. like you know what i mean a lot of like um every rose yes. has its thorn and yeah. things like uh, that yes. i'd be going yeah. in that direction <laughs> Put your head on my shoulder. You have a beautiful oh, voice, wow, man. man. Right you on. can fix that in post to make it sound better. 
Um, I well, if you heard that, that, it sounded uh, good. It's you're all Jackie. Implying that we do anything in post. <laughs> yeah, we really do. Every time I talk to you we guys, we barely oh, do we're working on the podcast, podcast. <laughs> working on the podcast, working on the pot. Oh, I got a fucking rip in my jeans. I forgot about oh, that. Right on, oh, man. Nice. Cool. Just, if you show me put one it up more time, paywall. Put it up on Patreon. We're fine. You really oh, no. didn't like get snazzed up. For no, this I even podcast. took my watch off for like, it. Yeah, thank you. Really dressed down to come on the show. Yeah. I appreciate Dude, I'm not even it. sitting up. I'm just lounging completely yeah, into I, the I chair. Yeah, I can feel the disrespect. <laughs> well, that's why we... I, are you even in frame? Actually, you're pretty far away. But I don't know. If I'm not uh, in frame, well, I'll I told get you in to frame. Move, yeah, maybe scooch, Dude, you did tell me to move over, over and I'm pretty yeah. sure You've I moved back. You've been inching back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I hope that you're I don't know, I don't, out I don't, of it. Though, like, I don't know how to run a podcast, so this is well, all that, on you guys. That much is very clear. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, the, the <laughs> shit show that you're running over there. Your podcast takes up half your life. You guys are literally 35 floors above my podcast. I'm at the bottom of a mountain in a basement yeah. and you're on a hill on the fucking 75th floor. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have a cat though. I know. So like if yeah. that, you, yeah, Richard really kind of makes Dude, the- Richard's the... being so fucking cuddly these days as well. Oh, I mean, he makes oh, that house a home. Nice. I know. We yeah. started letting him out and now all of a sudden he loves us more and we're like, hang on, there might oh, be something to well, this. Hey there. <laughs> right. Give him some freedom. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah. Loosen the leash. Oh, so you let him out of the, out of the cat? What do you call it? The, the catio? The catio. The catio. Yeah, that's nice. cat, cat, cat patio. Yeah. You go. Google it. Look oh it up. It's actually pretty cool. I don't need yeah. to go into describe the, the intricacies <laughs> and the details. If you of can't the figure out what a cat patio, like a catio, is based on the fact that it's a cat patio. Mm-hmm. Are you implying that our listeners are stupid for not understanding? I mean, here's the thing, mate. <laughs> this is a music podcast. It's true. <laughs> yeah. I love that on all your social medias. It's just this is a music podcast, and it's Jackie talking about Bigfoot or fucking <laughs> dicks and how many she can suck. Like, yeah, that's well, just like. <laughs> That's uh, that has never come up All because at once? yeah we, we've never reached that we've never reached the limit. Fuck it, let's have another old Milwaukee and get into it. Yeah. <laughs> but going back to the record a bit, so a common theme in this record is the ocean. It is. I'm pretty sure every second song title has ocean has ocean in it. In it. Um, but you obviously grew up around the ocean, and so did I. Uh, Johnny hates the ocean. I grew up and swimming in a river, though. I, f- I fucked <laughs> yeah. with the river when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, so my question is that: Do you have any like? near like drowning almost drowning experiences in the ocean no nah, not drowning like or any like bad experience bad experiences yeah, yeah of course yeah. of course if uh i got two i swam with the stingray and i swam with two great whites that's uh mm-hmm. and the, when i swam with the stingray it was like maybe six months after steve Irwin had died so it was just like too soon oh. w- was it like intentional <laughs> no like the, si- oh. the stingray was we were all jumping off uh, like a jetty, which mm-hmm. is, you guys call them jetties here? Like a cliff? Like a, no, no, like no, a like, like a, a pier. Oh, a pier. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're jumping off this one that that spanned from like this town. It was called Lake's Entrance, and it was kind of I don't know. It's weird to describe, but there's this huge uh, bridge that goes over to the main beach, and you always jump off the middle of it, like do backflips or whatever off yeah. the middle, and then you swim to the edge and get up and do it again. Yeah, right? yeah. You right. do that with your mates when you're 13, 14. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, I jumped. I did a backy off it once, and uh, a backy, a backy. <laughs> Is that how you talk? How you make words in Australia? You yeah, just you take normal shorten, words yeah. and like eat. Yeah, it's a backy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. sick of breathe, bro. You just yeah. you yeah. just dissected <laughs> three hundred years of culture in Australia in a sentence. That's yeah, literally, literally, that's it. That and kangaroos, right? Ruse. Yeah. Ruse. Oh, ruse. sorry. Oh, my, my apologies. Kangas. Ruse. You gotta call them kangas or ruse. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, either way, Anyways. you're still shortening the word. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Anyways, go continue. Um, yeah, and then I just jumped in, and my mates that were up on the bridge were just like, "Oh, fuck, there's this thing, right?" I'm like, "Shut up! Like, it's not funny. Like, Steve Owen just died. Like, we're just uh-huh. like, no, 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 no." And uh, sure as shit, I swim like 50 meters back to the edge and then climb up, and then in the water. And like the water's maybe three meters deep, so like me jumping in, like I might have, you know, a foot away from it by the end of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so fucking holy just, shit, with the stingray just like, and it was like, the water kind of diff- like what's the word? Not diffuses. What's the, you know, Pink Floyd? What's that called? A right angle? What are no, you no, describing no. to me? Like you go. <laughs> if anyone that's Pink actually Floyd intelligent is listening, knows that there's places. Displaces. Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? I have no idea. I know idea. it starts with a D and it's what the light does in the Pink Floyd. Oh, I don't think it's displaces. Yeah, I know what you're you, talking about. You know about. what I'm talking yeah. about. See, this is, yeah. we're getting to it. <laughs> yeah. but what Maybe the, wait, yeah, all but, of us, if we think really hard together, we'll be able to come up with no, this No, but on, word. The, on the dark side of the moon, light is going through a prism. Yeah, a prism. So like, what, what, what that, that actually is called is the word I'm looking for. So when light hits water or hits a spherical or a prism. Is it displaces? No. No, it's something else. It does start with a D. 
Okay. It? Okay. Fuck me. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we that's why we're looking for a producer for the show. We're looking <laughs> yes, for a Google guy. Young Jamie, Google come with us. Yell yeah. this word at us. Yeah, fuck. Um, but yeah, so uh, the water made it look like it was like three meters in diameter, oh. like the stingray. But uh, that's the ocean for you, isn't it? No. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Follow the ocean, hey Ziggy. Follow the ocean. That is wild. Uh, I've yeah. never. I, I don't know if I ever had some kind of um, in the river the ex- catfish. Well, um, yeah, catfish. Well, there's um. Uh, sturgeon and stuff that are made, I don't know 10 12 feet long and shit. Surgeon? Sturgeon? Oh. There, there are, are also long. surgeons. <laughs> there are surgeons the in the river. Upstream. Absolutely. <laughs> Give birth. Yeah. From my neighborhood there might during be a couple the, of them during down their there. Migration you never know. period. You got a tattoo of a surgeon on your arm now. Follow the marine biology thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got a surgeon sorry. now. Yeah. Just in a scuba suit yeah. with a fucking medical <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if I was ever close enough to um, to something underwater like that, I would lose my fucking mind. Like yeah. I did not grow up in that environment, and like I don't even like when my foot touches seaweed, right? Because like I'm come off like a pretty like super tough guy, obviously, right? That's the mm-hmm. first thing that you think of when you see me. Yeah. But contrary to popular belief, okay. I'm a pretty uh, I'm I'm pretty emotional, and uh, I get I get afraid a lot of the things that go bump in the night, and anything yeah. that's like under. Underwater the water is even more frightening to me. Yeah, dude, it took me so scary. long to be able to just swim in a lake here. Because oh, like yeah? in Australia, like it's a lot darker. Of, well, no, because like in Australia, regardless of who you talk to, they're always just like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not scared of sharks. I'm not scared. Like mm-hmm. the, no one's ever scared. They go surf and they go like whatever. Right? Yeah, like, that's yeah. what we did yeah. growing up. But you know, but Jason it, Voorhees is at the bottom of lakes yeah, and freshwater. Like you really have to. Oh, you really shit. have to worry about. I didn't think of that. Yeah, now I'm never swimming in the lake again. It's probably like the biggest thing that we have to worry about here in Canada, as far mm-hmm. as like you know, there's there's a Voorhees in every lake. Yeah, is the saying. As Fuck. it goes, yeah. yeah so you yeah, really have to that. watch out for that. Like in yeah. fresh, I'm, fr- I'm freshwater guy. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I'm in. It shows. You need some salt in your life. You need some salt in your life. Yes, yeah, salt it up. Hey man, I've been asking for you to pour a little salt in my wounds, but <laughs> dude, a couple more beers. I'm <laughs> telling you, I haven't salty, figured salty. out the limit yet. But we're, oh, we're yes, still that. playing ball. I think all you got to do is ask. No, but like swimming in salt water, like swimming in the oceans of Australia. Like there's always something in your head that's just like there's a fuck something's right. Like I'm swimming yeah. with something right yeah. now. Yeah. And then I'd get in lakes and I'd still have that thought for so long. And then I was probably here three years before I was able to get in a lake and be like fucking trout, maybe. I feel like in mm. Australia I'd be more scared of the land critters. Like the spiders and snakes and stuff. Yeah, it's alright because they're like they're not like if you're in the city like this, mm-hmm. you're not gonna find venomous and poisonous snakes and spiders. Fair right. Enough. They're, they're out in the country a bit more where I'm from. So, oh, do, do okay, you have okay. any like wild like what's the biggest spider that you've seen just growing up as a kid? The, the oh, but the big the big ones aren't the, the bad ones. But the big ones are the the nice ones, like a big huntsman. Like I've had a huntsman the size of dinner plates in my backyard. But the, but huntsmen don't do anything here. Like if you see a huntsman, you know that they're killing all the other fucking asshole animals that are like around. Okay, they kill the, the venomous ones and they eat them. Okay, oh. okay. So what is the what's um, a real bad the one? small? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've had a, a red back ones. fall out of my shoe. <gasps> And that, I that don't even know what that is, but <laughs> you'd, you'd never Sounds guess, Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Just give give us a whirl, Jackie. <laughs> it's a spider called a redback, and it's from Australia. What do you think it is? <laughs> what do you think? Jackie's PC people are trying to take the. They're trying to change the name right now. They're trying to pull redbacks uh, statues down in the city square. <laughs> like the Cleveland Indians first yeah. redback spider. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackie's yeah, we coming don't after him. Allow them around these parts. <laughs> you took that a fucking direction. sign up. No redbacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's like a little black spider with a little red spot on its back. Oh. Red back. Is yeah. that not like a black widow? No, they're all black. Oh, I mm. thought they had a little red. Dust. I think they got a little gray or white, like a silver oh, I or something. It was right, uh, red. Maybe their eyes because they're fucking evil. Maybe okay. But uh, yeah, red back, like yeah. A bunch well, have you ever, ever been stung or anything like that? Like have you ever had a uh. No, I, I've had a spider bite that got infected, but I don't know if it was a venomous. Like, you just don't know. Yeah. Like, if you don't die, you're fine. <laughs> sure. I got, um, I had a, a bee in the straw of a Slurpee. And it was, I was a kid as a uh, backyard of a friend's house. We're jumping on a trampoline. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I jumped off the trampoline, ran right to my Slurpee, you oh, know, take a huge um, uh, swig of that thing. And I just felt the bee getting sucked up with oh, all the Slurpee God. into my mouth. And it stung me on the tongue. And that sucked. Um, I was pretty close to a hospital at the time my mom worked at. So, like, my brother, everybody's just kind of like, 
brought me up the hill and I was no doing shit. everything that I could to like not repeat that stupid fucking joke from friends or whatever. Like yeah. either my, yeah. either my <laughs> tongue is going to smaller or yeah. whatever the fuck. Um, uh, I remember that's the first hack bit that I ever, yeah, yeah, that I ever tried to bring yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I remember yeah, my yeah. brother being like, man, right now, yeah, shit. No, it's not the time. I'm like, a fu- yeah, I'm like, I'm like an eight or like a six year old kid or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. sister did that when fucking halloumi became a big thing. She goes, what did the cheese say to itself when it saw, well, what did the cheese say when it saw, see, this is how fuck of a hacky joke it is. Like I can't even say it. What did the cheese say to itself? Nah, what did the cheese say when it saw itself in the mirror? There you go. That's her, that's, that's her premise. Okay, what, what did the cheese say to itself when it's so Hello, hello me. me. Hello me. Huh. Yeah, hello I me. It. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, such a dumb joke. But my my, no, my, my sister fucking told me that and I was just like, okay. I just wanted to give her props. Jackie would have yes-ended me right now. We could have took that so I funny. know, Jackie, come on, man. You're not yes right 101. Now. What did I do? I'm just teasing you. <laughs> um, but yeah. The fucking grass, like that's a, when people say like everything wants to kill you in Australia, and it's just like yeah, no, nah, it does because like the grass, like we have bindies in our grass, which Not are like bindies. in the summer or like in like native Australian grass. All grass has like these fucking little balls of spike that you stand on, they get stuck in your foot feet. It's like you know those sea urchins in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we have them on land. All <laughs> grass. What the fuck? Like a lot of natural, like especially in my area because that's like the grass that just naturally grew there. Yeah, bindies. So like in the summer you couldn't. You'd walk through the field and just like get bindies all through your feet and through. Is your that like similar to like burrs, like the way? Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. like, but oh, okay. but with spikes instead of being fuzzy. Like because burrs are kind of fuzzier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The bindies kind of like they have like, like spikes. Yeah, that sucks. Instead of being man. Velcro, it's kind of like uh, those spikes that cops throw down. Oh fuck yeah, we've gone overtime already. No, we're good. <laughs> it's just it's weird. It's almost like whoever sent you there didn't want to those send you British to like cons. a place that um, you know was. Um, Beautiful or or hospitable, yeah, in any way at all. Dude, yeah. it was a prison sentence. Oh, that's what happened. That sounds. And we're all convicts. Is that is that is that true? Is that yeah? Is, there's a, there's a high criminal population in Australia. Isn't we, that where everyone sends their criminals? That we were criminals. That's you how Australia were, yeah, was but founded. That's, what, wasn't that only like a like like hundred years ago or something? How long does it take to get the criminality out of the bloodline? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, mate. No, it doesn't. I mean, no, I, got, I got family that fucking my mum's. I think my mum's mum's lineage, like one of the lines there, goes back to like a dude that stole a loaf of bread and got transported to Australia <laughs> for seven years sentence. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, but that was what it was no like. Shit? There was so many fucking criminals in England that they go, they go, Australia's full of criminals. It's like, yeah, England's criminals. Like it was exactly. England that was yeah. fucked. Right. Just crime ridden, poverty, plague infested fucking shithole. And then they go, put them on a boat for three months and they go, fuck me. Look at Bondi. And then... You know, first fleet was just like, uh, we might stick around for a bit. And then they slaughtered a bunch of natives, built Ooh. a bunch of towns, and fucking lied about slaughtering a lot of natives. Fair enough. When, how, Until uh, like what, 2007. What year, what year, like, what year is, did this kind of start happening? Did they start sending people over there? 17. Seven, Seven, se- mm. 17. 17. 76. How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle it's of a like forgotten spot in the Hamilton? Caribbean? Yeah, it's Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched Hamilton like three times in the last two weeks, so really? I recognize some Hamilton when I hear it. Absolute jam, right? It stands up. <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda. Let's fucking Don't change the album it. of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's just go into the Hamilton soundtrack. Dude, I know. I usually do all the homework for the episodes. I've, I've never. <laughs> you never heard of Hamilton? I've never heard any musical except for Book of Mormon. Dude, because so I'm, I'm not very Hello. cultured. I guess. Musicals. Hello. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But Dude. I've only seen Book of Mormon like a shitty. Like YouTube dub version yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like I would love to see it like live and kind of experience it. But everything yeah. else is like I have other shit to do for like two hours. I feel like than watch yeah. instead of watching Rent. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah, what Rent is amazing. Was... Or like Cats or fucking. Oh, fuck like Cats. West Side Story. I don't West Side Story is good. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I, don't no, know. I, fuck I, with that. I love me some Wicked too. Some Wicked. Mm. You want to be Alphabet or what? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> is Wicked like that's Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Though, yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. About the witches. Yeah. 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 I'm into like I like witchcraft and like the occult and stuff like that, but it doesn't seem like it seems just a little like kind of pussy. Dude, if you like me. if you like witchcraft, I'll give this show a shout out. Motherland on Disney yeah? Plus. Okay, yeah, I have that okay. shot up here. Got some oh, friends. In my, it. My oh, my my friend cool. um, who I worked with on the the last show I worked on, she she worked in the production office. Yeah, in so Motherland, it's very witchy. It's like mm-hmm. fucking flipping Catholicism and Christianity on its head. Yeah, it's yeah. like women are the powerful and like darkness is better than light anyway it's it's fucking yeah. it's a cool show okay yeah. cool i'm into that yeah uh so speaking of your your criminal family <laughs> lineage yeah. what was the last crime you committed other than the rampant pedophilia that we always that we established yeah, that's just ongoing um 
You will be tried for those crimes, but I mean, <laughs> can I in, say until you until your light. until your sentencing, we'll, yeah, until, we're hanging until, out until we figure out what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I'm I'm like a recovering because I'm not fully recovered yet, but uh, recovering kleptomaniac, and it's been oh, a, yeah. it's been a long time since I'd nicked any. Especially with the pandemic, I was like small businesses; they're not doing what. Well. But I never actually that's a lie because I never took anything from small businesses. I was gonna say it'd always be from like Walmart. I'm yeah, like these yeah. fucking capitalist sure, pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I used to They're steal from suffering. people. I was in Seven Eleven yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what, oh, you're, you're stealing? Like you're steady stealing chocolate bars and stuff? No. Oh, yeah. It was always like okay. it was always just like fucking petty theft. Like it was always like I, I put a pack of gum in my pocket just to get away with it. But it was you know? never, never like like car stereos like or like no, houses or anything. No, no, no. It was never anything like that. It was always just like I was at Walmart and I cool. fucking mm-hmm. was just like, why are raises seventy bucks? I'm putting these in my pocket. And I'm walking out. Fuck you. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I respect. So that. I was at Seven Eleven yesterday getting some cigarettes and. My childhood nostalgia just fucking went rampant because it was a pack of Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I'm taking them. And I got a shiny Vulpix out of it. So I'm happy. Man, wow. you're so that's the last weird. crime I committed. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my car right now. I'll show you the evidence. <laughs> Pokemon cards. You're a fucking child, man. You're a grown ass man. You're out there stealing this Pokemon makes cards. It sense with the pedophilia. It though. does. Like, how else <laughs> how you do you get think I'd get the kids? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, kid, you want a shiny Vulpix? Exactly. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That poor oh, kid is going to be yeah, exactly. Show you flames. Show you. Oh my god. God damn it. It's well, a, I'm happy that you know it's you're It's a fucking you're the, hard rock type Pokémon if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool that you know your childhood passions have now grown into like um into the into the man that you've become. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So your lifestyle and everything that you kind of follow, you get you get to be a kid every day or you get to Touch kids every day. Oh, okay. At least Sorry. one or two. At least oh, one that, or two. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's okay. incredible, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy. Last week on the show, um, viewers will remember that we, we talked about a lot of child pornography. And are mm-hmm. you um, are you familiar with uh, with Europol and the, um, and, the, Boys and, Town? and the Boys Town website that got taken mm-hmm. down? No. Oh, okay. Well, I mean... Mm-hmm. You'll you'll see it. It's uh, it's on it's on last week's episode. But uh, right, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, no. I was just I was well, I was wondering maybe like you had some some problems logging on to your favorite sites or something in the past little while. No, I've yeah. got backdoor entry. Uh, a buddy of mine. I just uh, I'll, I'll, I I call him Jeffy. So like we'll just he'll, we'll just okay. leave it as Jeffy. Okay. What's yeah. Up, Jeffy? yeah. So my buddy Jeffy E. He um, gives you backdoor entry. He gave me backdoor entry. Nice. Um, it was weird because he like I went to his. Like he kind of had like a uh, a cabin, but not a cabin. Like it was like a, basically like a like you know when you go to like those islands in the Caribbean and shit. Mm-hmm. It was basically just one of them. Like oh. it, and it was just his. So like it was kind of oh, cool. Okay, okay. But then he had like similar a similar to a cabin. Similar to a cabin, but it was yeah, like, like a private island. But it yeah. was like an island. Yeah. So yeah. Jeffy yeah. he took me there, and he like showed me there was this whole fucking room of like for his server and. The server just gives you back backdoor IPs to everything. So interesting. Wow. I don't think I'll have an issue. Shout out to Jeffy E if he's if he's watching. Yeah, big shout to Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I, I, I haven't had any problems now. Well, congratulations. Well, you know That's, what I mean? It's good yeah. that you can hide behind. I haven't heard from him in a while though, so I don't know where he is. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's one of the three that they that they busted. Yeah, when they yeah took down three out of four hundred thousand. Um, they took were, were busted. So yeah. like we know that child porn is over now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. The FBI is, is well worth the American taxpayers' dollars. Well, actually, this was the European. Yeah, this was the <laughs> this was uh, European. In um, just, just in Germany or in, in Europe? Well, two of the men that the were arrested were in Germany, and one of them um, the is from Paraguay, but he is based. being extradited to Germany. For it doesn't yeah. surprise me. Those Germans. Yeah. They haven't had a good run of it. I mean, you do love Germans in general, just the the culture and the background. I mean, up that's until, where your, up your until roots about are from. 45, 1945. Exactly. And then yeah, it just, but now they, they took a turn, a turn and I, I just wasn't about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting, yeah. interesting. No, that makes a lot of sense. You know, what's really cool about German culture is that they're so on the nose, like the, the, the streets are, you know, um, remarkably clean. The trains run on time, you know, and there's a theory there that because they're so by the book that the... They're into like a lot of shit porn and like and like, like and, literally and hard shit porn feti- and hard like fetishes shitting. and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. So like they're they're taboos because they're so kind of like laced up and on the nose. Right, they're taboos. It's, 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 there. And I think that's fascinating in right? society's mm-hmm. eyes. Like if you go to uh, Berlin or whatever, it's yeah. a nice running city. Yeah, but then behind the closed doors, that's like. Yeah, with the weird shit. Out. I'd rather wear yeah. my freak flag on my sleeve. You know oh, what I mean? Bro. Yeah, like of you know, like if you want to yeah. know what's up over here, just come over and ask. Like it's all good, right? The windows so are open. You did totally. Yeah. I, I keep them windows open, right? But oh, yeah. I think that like um, it's the people that you don't know where they're going at night that you got to have ask questions about. You know, yeah. they're the ones that turn out to be like extra weird, right? So yeah. I, th- I know I'm I'm, you know, we're all about the weird on this show. Of Fuck course, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude I, what's actually, your number one kink then? If we're getting weird, what's your number one kink? Honestly, now it's sleep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> what the other person's asleep or what? No, are you no, just me. Honestly, yeah. like, um, but I in my younger days, like, I was, uh, I was, I was kind of heavy into, um, uh, into like subordinates a little bit. You know what I mean? I like, um, I'm a, I'm a big tall guy and kind of like I, I at work even like I run a crew of people and stuff. So like, if you can have like a. A little, you know, a, a tiny, cute little girl just like step on my neck and tell me what to do. You know, maybe tie me up a little bit. Then I'm kind of into that, right? The, in that role reversal kind of situation. Totally. Like, that would probably and be that's like because my you're such a big dude that that doesn't happen to you day to day. Yeah, exactly. Right? A little you bit of it that's just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not every day. right. But it's a hard. Dude, to how put, fucked yeah. is it that kinks were like shamed for so? Like, you know stupid. what I mean? Like that. It was yeah. just like you, you couldn't fucking talk about it. Yeah, exactly. You, you, right. shut, you shut the fuck well, up. Well, and the problem is you need to talk about it because if you don't, then it's really fucked up to. And then yeah, and then and then you know what? And that person gets a gun and fucking kills himself. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I'm or way then, more. or starts doing things that harm people because it's just spiraled exactly. so far sure. out of control because yeah. they don't even want to say that they that they like this thing, and yeah. so it just builds and builds and builds in their mind. Yeah. So is that what happened when you when no, wait, you wait, actually wait, wait, first I, penetrated child? But this is this is going from <laughs> kink of Johnny's. No, the question's going around the table here, Jackie. <laughs> hey, put the microphone up to your <laughs> mouth if you're gonna laugh. We, we got to have perfect audio for this. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm getting so much fucking shit, for dude. This. You're taking over the yeah. This is getting this is going off the rails, and I love it. Um, I wasn't. I I see it again. Like as um as an experienced kinker and stuff like that. I'll let somebody d dip the into the pool themselves rather than me ask. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. uh, oh, like yeah. So like if now now you know that it's on the table, feel free to jump in. But like I not only do I not care who you're fucking, um, unless it's me, it's just not an interesting point of conversation, right? I but love if you that. Tell I love me that concept. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's me, it's just not yeah. interesting. Yeah, exactly. I'm like not interested in who you're fucking unless it's me. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm a pretty self-centered person. <laughs> yeah. You know, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, if you care to jump in the pool, jump in the pool. Well, I, I my whole life changed yesterday. That's why I, I took my watch off. I'm wearing sunglasses inside. I got an iPhone 12, so I'm pretty right. far above you yeah, guys specifically, is, but a lot of the this is the, the general look public. Of someone who has money to spend on an iPhone. I, I've well. got probably a <laughs> million dollars worth of Dogecoin right now as well. So like I'm 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 an investor. I just know what okay. I'm doing. I, that's why I could afford my iPhone you 12. Seem like you know what you're doing. Yeah, man. Dude, if you want yeah. any sort of financial lifestyle relationship advice, all you got to do is shoot me a message, and I'll give you the fucking best advice you need. Like I, well, I, but please, you well, have a stage right I'm now. I'm ego free, so this is the thing. You come up to me with any problem, mm -hmm. I'm a figure. I'm, I'm see through the shit that you're talking, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna give you a solution. Okay. So it was bright today, so I just put my sunglasses on. I didn't need to know the time. I was on my own time, so right. I took my watch off. You know? Yeah. So you're just kind of going with the flow these days. Hey, you're you just like do doing. It, you you're letting do. the wind take you. Oh man, it's not even the wind. I tell the wind to push me where I want it to go. Well, that's an interesting oh. philosophy, man. Yeah. How yeah. long? Um, yeah. When? How? Basically, when did you decide that? Um, not only were you going to tell your dad that you're homosexual, but um, that you were just going to, you know, really break his heart and let him know that your boyfriend's actually underage as well. Yeah, um, that's the big. That's the kicker. Yeah, because I, like, yeah. like it's like, like it's time a construct, right? Like it's age and time a construct. Oh, definitely. Like you don't yeah, wear yeah, the watch. Yeah. Construct too. It, dude, for if sure. Well, this is the thing. Uh, there was a video that, if you guys haven't seen it, I recommend watching it. If you just type in Arkansas trans ban uh, loving dad on YouTube, you'll see the video. And uh, all jokes aside, this video is fucking amazing. Yeah. Like it's this mm -hmm. dude that's like talking on behalf of the, the Trans Act bill in, yeah. in Arkansas, which is like a completely right state. And yeah. mm -hmm. the way he talks about it and he's saying that basically you can't have any laws that uh, that basically you're discriminating. If, if, if you have any laws against trans people, you're discriminating based on sex and that's against the U.S. Constitution, right? Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, absolutely. So. Time's construct. We'll get back to it. Time's okay. a construct. Yeah. Okay. Therefore, okay. age is a construct. Like, I look 30, okay. but I'm not, you know? So, That's, like... Yeah, it's unfortunate. Right. You it's are so aging poorly. Yeah. I, I, dude... Dude, if I you if you go by the construct of time. Of, mm -hmm. of right? society's like, time. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you're yeah. looking at that. Yeah. But I fucking was an ugly fat fuck until I was 18. And then I somehow got in decent shape. I started growing my hair. I started mm -hmm. looking better. Yeah. And at 22, I hit my fucking peak. And I've been like, mm -hmm. plateauing, like plateauing for the last two years. And, yeah, and now you decided another to two. go back oh, to dude, fat. No, dude, again. you give me another two years and I'm fucking going so far downhill. Oh, is that right? Oh, dude, mm -hmm. it was like, it's a are steady you, giving incline. up? Like how, when I was born, how old are you now in like the standard constructs of time? 12, that's why I can fuck kids. 
Oh. Yeah, okay. but I look old as shit. That's what I'm saying. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been giving you a hard time. I, I know. Yeah, if you keep saying pedophile, I'm just like, okay, yeah, to you, that's the word you'll use. Like, I get it because right. of the way I look. Yeah. But, like, to me, it's it's all fine. Jackie, we've yeah, been incredibly cool. insensitive. I, yeah, I, have to I didn't realize we were speaking to a child. It's okay. That's yeah, why I asked if can, I could you... swear because, like, normally I ask mom, but she's right. not here. So, like, I was just like, you guys are the parents involved. Like, I looked right. up to you guys as parents. Till oh, figures. So. Well, yeah, that makes, that makes so much sense, sense now. Yeah. yeah. So, whose wow. car have you been driving illegally the entire time that I've known you, dude? It's or so should we funny. talk? We, I mean, I don't want to put your mm-hmm. your business in the street like that. No, no, it's don't funny it because black. um because time from where I'm from, it, it just runs differently, right? Mm. So I'm actually so far advanced right. that I know what AI is, and I actually sit in the back seat the whole time, and what you see is a hologram of me driving. So I've never actually driven, so I can't actually get arrested. Oh, so it's your hologram. It's my hologram right. that takes me everywhere. Fascinating. Dude, so next time you're in my car with me driving, yeah. mm-hmm. look in the back. There's a little box that I'm actually sitting in. Oh, what? Legit. That's so next cool. time you do it, yeah. Yeah, well, because okay. I mean, I'm never paying attention. Tell me to pull over, and I'll pull over because it's me. Mm-hmm. And then just check the back out, and then I'll actually be like, oh, shit, you found me. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, man, I'm really yeah. looking forward to that. That's very you cool. Try, you guys yeah. should come to Australia. I can get you guys clones and holograms in a I second. I would love that. Is that what's going yeah. on down there? Oh, dude, there's this place in Australia right mm-hmm. in the fucking center of the Northern Territory. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's got American, Japanese, like all of the people that fight against each other. Like this might sound conspiracy as shit, but I had a friend that worked for the Australian Army, and he showed me photos on his iPhone that he took there. So there's actually uh-huh. like a central hub for UK, uh, USA, Australia. There's Japan's there. There's like all these different places except like North Korea and Russia. And that's when you know like – and I, I think there's a Chinese branch as well. But mm-hmm. like North Korea and Russia aren't there. And you're just like, I wonder why. Cunts are fucked. That's why. Interesting. Okay, well, now we're cracking it open here. Is. What do you think – is this a military base or is it like a government um, – like, like a science building? What What is the – um, what is what is the complex like, or is it a facility, or it's is it like if the Pentagon, yes, was an area of land? Oh yeah, so you that, know like each, the, that yeah. paints a really yeah. picture. <laughs> no, but you know how each side of the pent- Pentagon <laughs> is has, a wall is a, with windows. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like a different branch of American intelligence. Yes. Yeah. That's basically what this plot of with land this is. Patch like of everything, land. like, and there's like some of them are just. Like an American specific yep. observatory of China because it's so close or whatever, oh. right? Or or of wherever. Like I'm not throwing out names. It could be a f- fucking Uzbekistan. I don't fucking know. Who knows? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Borat blasted that thing way open in 2003. They've been quiet ever since. So right, we've been had and uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, laying in wait, right? Well, and I, you know, I I respect a um, a country for being smart and playing possum, but like we all know that it's coming. It's coming. So yeah. I Dude, say that's like, why you know, I say Malawi. Get fucking ready for them. They've been quiet for a minute. I've been looking forward I mean, to it because they have like the coolest jerseys, ready. I feel like, right? So I'm a, I'm a big fan of like the, you know, Oakland Raiders, you know what I mean? Or like a like a purple and gold Wait, Lakers, right? So you I think like I to said see Milwaukee? No, no, I just like I, I I mean I pick I choose my side in battle by the best uniforms. Right. Right, which I hasn't think worked Milwaukee out great is for me. Rising up too, though. What, the Bucks? Yeah, I know just the Bucks are great. Just the state. <laughs> oh, dude, I also have to apologize to you. Cause What's up? If anyone's here because of my fucking podcast, they'll know like that we we went fucking hard on on branded of power tools. Oh I've just my seen goodness! A review that shows that Milwaukee and Dewalt are a lot more in superior than. Then the Makita. Makitas that I the use. Makita, the impact of the Makita is actually the best fucking impact on the market. Interesting. And it's funny that you bring that up because I've been using the same two Makita drills for a fucking decade. Probably. And you're going to try to tell me that they're pieces of shit, which is cool. I'm onto my know. second Milwaukee drill in 18 months. Proof is in the pudding, baby. Dude. I want to thank Makita for years of service. As They've he drinks an old Milwaukee. Just yeah, that, branding, yeah. baby. Branding. It's, it's branding. Yes, yeah. but I'm... I'm not a slave to like um you know we won't bow to corporate sponsors unless we get one yeah. you know what I mean and then exactly. it's the best fucking beer you ever drank oh no I get it I get it hence yeah. why Levi's are the comfiest pants and shirts you'll ever find <laughs> Old Milwaukee it's the most refreshing beer I don't know I think that's Levi's dude White Claw for white girls dude there's a good country <laughs> song going on right now with White Claw in it 
<laughs> What's that fucking song? Single Saturday Night by, by uh, I don't know, Colt Hayes or some shit. Oh, I don't know. Some that's that's not on my radar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Speaking of your podcast, though. Yes, please. <laughs> please. Yeah, feel yeah, free. yeah, I feel like we have <laughs> it right now. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't say the name of oh, it. Oh, sorry. We're not, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're not here yeah. to promote. If, if you didn't just hear the name, they did something in post finally. They finally did something in post. If my name in my podcast didn't just get said, they finally did something in post. <laughs> We'll see if we get around to it. When I <laughs> <laughs> when I was on your podcast, we were a uh, um, let's say a little bit disparaging towards my my co-host here. Oh yeah, we <laughs> we might have said some things. <laughs> now that I think about it, you know what's funny is that like uh, I've never had a, a point where like two very good friends of mine are on a podcast together, right? And um. <laughs> I was having a terrible day, so I'm like, "Oh, this is gonna be cool." Like, I'll I mean, they're gonna be, that? Yeah. yeah, like this is just gonna, uh, it's gonna pump me up. And it was a fun episode until. No, it wasn't like until. It was just after the fact. I was just like, "Huh, that's what I think." Yeah, yeah. you know. And um, to say um, I was hurt would be an understatement. Um, to say that I was let down, felt betrayed by the people that I love, um, would be more accurate. I feel like I wanted to run away. You know, I mean, I wanted to hide. You know, for a long time, and um, I was going to end the show. I was going to start doing my own, um, you know, probably more of like um, like an Alex Jones kind of vibe. Like I could feel like the Hulk was coming out of me. You know what I mean? But I'm glad that I reeled it back in, and I realized that friendship is more important, and I'm going to be um, the bigger man, both in stature and and, and mm. penis. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think I mean it's only fair. Do we need to make reparations. That did yeah, and the reparations. Oh, this feels uncomfortable. Should be that. Um, y- oh, I don't talk will, about my we podcast. We will allot zero time okay. for promoting your podcast. I, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know good. what? I give props to the power move. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty badass. I, we I, might I, have to go fix that in post. No, I do enjoy that. That is that is that is worth that's worth what we said. And if, yeah. if you want to know what we said, you can always check it out on. <laughs> Sorry, me and Jackie. <laughs> we're gonna have to do a lot of posts. Yeah, on yeah, this. we're doing some. Po- <laughs> we're Dude, how good it feels something. to have a fucking dynamic mic in my hand again. How, like this, I, it's been like what six months since we've been on stage or something. Right? October like, was how, awesome uh, on stage. Uh, so yeah, it's like yeah, this. I think it shut down November. Oh, yeah, November. But I, I didn't do a show yeah. early. November. I think it's been longer mm. now since like the first the time first lockdown. It shut yeah. down. Yeah. Like it's felt it's felt like ages. This like it actually like because I don't have mics like this on mine, so like this just feels fucking awesome. Just to be able to hold onto a microphone again. Yeah. Oh, I miss stand up so fucking much. I know this is a music podcast, but. I'm a I've stand up. Thinking, the only reason well, that we're doing this thinking. because we can't do stand up. So. <laughs> yeah, and we're starting to think like maybe we should like get on the, these Zoom shows because I'm doing like I'm a, doing one. When is this this podcast coming out? Uh, this next is going to be uh, yeah. so I just did a I just did a Zoom show. How was mm-hmm. it? It was great. Alex McKenzie's Comedy Night in Canada. Uh-huh. I love Alex. Like I think he's the nicest dude. I just haven't reached out to to do one of those things. It's not the way that I consume like comedy. I'm just comedy. like hesitant because I like haven't like I have a bunch of ideas for new material, but I haven't like sat down and written out like a, a uh, bit in yeah. so long and I don't want to go on and do and old material. It's the thing that I've had. I've mm-hmm. I've got two hours of notes in my phone that are just mm-hmm. jokes. Yeah. There are the premises, there are the punchlines. Yeah. Like, it's it's work material. You know, as like a comic, you have different ways that you work sure. material. Yeah. This is like my idea notes, right? And yep. I've got like two hours worth of notes just on a basic joke, right? It's like two hours worth. Mm-hmm. Yet on these Zoom shows, I might throw one of them in and I just do a all like mater- work material that I know works, right? Yeah. yeah because yeah. it's so hard. And the demographic that jumps on these Zoom shows are like couples in their 50s. Right. You know, like, so it's like... Really? Yeah. Very cool. So okay. It's cool. Like that, that's like, but... Like it's so well. Anybody hard to looking try for material. entertainment is is yeah. is awesome, right? It does well, feel interesting, and it is kind of cool. Like, cause there's a bunch of obviously like friends and family members of mine that don't live in Vancouver that haven't been able to see me do stand up. Yeah. So in that sense, it actually is really cool that people, that people from like across you know the country and across the world the Pacific, can watch yeah. And yeah. across yeah. the Pacific. So yeah, I mean, my show was great. Um, if you want to check out. Comedy Night in Canada. There's a Facebook page, there's yeah, a yeah. website, there's everything. Yeah. So AlexTellsJokes.com. So yeah. yeah, Alex tells jokes. Yeah, we'll put a, we'll put the link up in the, the stuff. Sh- I the think show was yeah, really definitely. great, and I uh, I really and enjoyed. Well, it. we had a fun time <laughs> watching. And I told all of yeah, the all yeah, the yeah, jokes we I told were new jokes. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys were there. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we saw yeah, you yeah. doing. Um, uh, well, who else was like 
Bobby Warner, who else was there? We, we watched one a few weeks ago, and it was oh, it was a fun yeah. vibe. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was, We've it was gone cool. to a, one of the uh, Rossum comedy ones, and it was fun. Uh, it was fun because like we were together and like drinking, so it's like when the show ended, it's not like we were suddenly like yeah, alone. Just alone again. Yeah, just alone. Your room just going. Yeah. What have yeah. I done? For that vibe, yeah. it was actually it was a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we need to like if we you know recreating that or even having yeah. a couple of people over here to do stuff. Yeah, exactly. the same show to, or yeah, something. Like, if I were to do one, it would be like I wouldn't want to be alone. I would do yeah. it like. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have Johnny so. and me sit here, you exactly. go out, yeah, yeah. See, that'd be fun. Fuck, maybe like, we reach we out to should, Susie and say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together. yeah, we should do that. that would be good. Fucking set. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll write one today. Yeah. We'll get a coconut going afterwards. Hell yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I'm so down for that. Oh, yeah. see, this is cool. Like, it's coming back. It's just fun to talk to fucking people who just want to do something. You know, know what I mean? Especially mm-hmm. with comedy, right? Dude, that was at the back of a comedy club. That's all it is. Like, hey, it's so easy for me to not want to do it. Like, I need to be around you, motherfuckers, to get inspired to really do it, right? Because it's so easy to say no, or I got other shit going on, or I'm going to write. Um, like sketches these. today or I'm going to write a story today instead of like jokes or yeah. take these yeah. ideas and, and kind of turn them into something different that isn't just a setup and a punch like the, the funnest thing to do dude to I just did my first right? fucking TikTok or reel or like I just did like a short video on my phone oh yeah I've I been fu- thinking that we should get on TikTok I feel like that's where all the kids are at that's where the kid. that's why yeah. I'm on TikTok yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I just did like my first video kind of thing because I finally have a phone that I'm able to fucking record shit on. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got the you got the pet, you got <laughs> yeah, the pet ball joke in there. No, I know, but I just yeah, love it, that, it, it that just, we didn't we didn't tag on know, to it, so like it just felt it just <laughs> felt so natural coming out of your mouth, and we just let you die there. It was, I know, just, it was great. I really I, like. I really felt the sweat bead coming down my forehead <laughs> when you guys left me out to dry after calling me a pedophile for fucking an hour, and the first time I call myself one, you we guys just, just like, let yeah. me dry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That no, it was great. It feels so good. But it was because I had a new... F- oh, fuck my bit. I don't give a shit about my bit anymore. I'm just going to sit here and drink for the rest of the podcast. See Albert's Land and Sea. I'm getting a tattoo of one of his lyrics down my spine. I went Sorry? surfing with him. I fucking knew him when he was a busker. Fuck you guys. This yeah. is a music podcast. Okay, well, well, well to, to, to go back to the, to the album for a second, we'll Peel touch back, back on it. So obviously this album uh, is acoustic and it's very stripped down. And it was funny listening to it. It suddenly something clicked in my head where I was like, oh, this is a very like stripped down artist. And you would do what what you call stripped down stand up. And all of your sets, you actually strip naked while you're telling your jokes. Which is like I got to give props where props is due. Mm -hmm. And that's that's from Bobby Lee. When I saw Bobby Lee and I was just like, there's something about there's something about being naked. I'll. I'll do it for the rest of the podcast. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please. Fair enough. Yeah. No. It, we're no, we are uh, on so YouTube. We're pro nudity. Um, but this yeah, is basically as I'm. We're pros at nudity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look back on this when I'm fucking like 40 and mm-hmm. be like, "Fuck, I was in such good shape." But right now, I feel like this is the best shape I'll be in for the rest of my life. No, so. I feel like you look good, man. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. 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 No. Thanks for co- thanks for getting comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Up. Yeah. Well, I was uncomfortable that you hadn't had taken your clothes off. Yeah. Yeah. Is it weird? That's why I wore the pants with the. Like so that the audience can see that I'm still a little sneak peek. (laughs) (laughs) Now I gotta get new jeans. (laughs) Clip it. (laughs) I need new jeans anyway. Perfect. I'll give you a patch actually if you want like something punk rock. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. rock. That's what my car hearts are for work. My car hearts are just patched up as fuck. Hell yeah, man. They got they got a purple heart on them. Which is awesome. I feel bad. My, my finger was so close to your butthole just now. Yeah, you did scrape it. You did yeah. scrape did it. I scrape it a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah. I'm, I just, when you I, say I, so I, close, yeah. I'm like, it, no, it touched my butthole. Oh. What, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, rewind it. Rewind it. Literally the bring back the evidence. It could possibly be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one inside. piece of fabric yeah. between your finger and my asshole for about half a millisecond. <laughs> like that, yeah. That, yeah. that one piece of and fabric. And it wasn't my underwear. <laughs> That one piece of fabric is the only thing that's keeping this show monetized and on YouTube. Is that one piece of fabric? Shout out to it's, that it's piece of fabric. It's not even fabric. I think what's <laughs> it's it's latex, isn't it? Isn't that what it's made out of? Membrane. Well, I Membrane. thought it, it, it felt go. more like yeah, a, like yeah. a matted hair situation, right? Like when was the last time? Like have you ever shaved at all? Dude, you know, I told you the story. I said because Manscape, I won't talk about my podcast, but as a sponsor, I said mm. that I should be the spokesperson because. I never took care of my shit. And yeah. I got a manscape a lawn lawnmower a landscaped landscape? Manscaped. Thank you. <laughs> if it's your fucking landscape. sponsor, man. They don't sponsor our show. Fuck. Like, fuck. Manscaped lawnmower 3.0. The former yeah. sponsor of <laughs> 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 podcast name to be non disclosed. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, the lawnmower 3.0. First time I ever shaved my butthole was with that. Oh, how'd it turn out? Perfect. See, I'm so a straight good. razor man, right? Like I'm I of the thing. I can't like, believe you, that. 
I, it took me technology that's so advanced for me to be able to be like, I'm going to do it. Whereas Bro, you're just like, i got a oh, razor man. like they did in the fucking 1800s. I shaved my back, balls, and butt with the same razor today in mm. maybe... I don't know, fucking four or five minutes or whatever. What do you mean? So back, it's balls, and... Part of the routine. What was Not it? my back. It just sounds really cool yeah, to say back, balls, say, and butt. Mm-hmm. But, that would um, impress me. If you yeah. did if balls and butt, I'm like, good, back. five minutes, that's a good fucking time. <laughs> it's, but it's but only if you did like back not, as not well, the, <laughs> yeah. that's impressive. Yeah. Not really the cheeks or anything like that, right? But just the, just the danger zone, right? Mm-hmm. Because if you... Um, like clean, make your bed, right? If you're going to invite somebody over, make sure the house is presentable, yeah, right? Totally. If somebody mm-hmm. wants to, you know what I mean, go down there, then they shouldn't be, you know what I mean, forced to deal with like what it, what I can only assume is happening down, you know what I mean, downstairs yeah. for you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, your downstairs mix up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so is it just, is it nothing but fumes and, and, and death and destruction down there? Or since the Manscaped, since now you're Since the good. Manscaped, it's, it's, it's a party, bro. Yeah, you're yeah. setting yeah. records on, on slip and slides, just land speed records. You're hitting sound barriers and Dude, shit. Dude, I mm-hmm. tell you what, I've never uh, seen a bald eagle in real life. But I feel like my ego's balder. Interesting. Okay, yeah. All right. Interesting. So, like, how long has your dick had feathers on it for? As long as I can remember. Interesting. And oh. feathers is is greedy. Uh, feather. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, it's not big enough to have feathers. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just oh. a single just, feather. Just the one. Yeah. And the beak and talons. Too? Yeah, the talons are definitely talons. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah cool I, because I got yeah. the the beak the. In Australia, I mean, how else yeah. is, is it to kill woodland creatures? Well, well you know what it is. In Australia, the, the circumcision isn't foreskin; it's it's the beak. Oh. Right. Okay. Well, it's fascinating because sense. I'm a big yeah. fan of like um old like older architecture and kind of like a Victorian era. I grew up in an old house where um it had like a t- like a bathtub with like the talon claw, and I've never seen anybody else's balls that actually do that. So, like aesthetically speaking. Like you, it's it's kind of a, like a Victorian era, like absolutely elegant, yeah. you know. Yeah. D- extremely elegant, very upper class, Thank which you. is what we like. Thank that's you. The, that's the class that's, you want. That's right. If you go yeah, to the UK, yeah. the Labour Party is mostly the the working class uh, participants in society, yeah. and then conservatives, the middle and upper class, baby. That's where we are. Yeah, talons on the balls. Interesting. I don't know. I'm still a juvenile product of the working class. I feel like I lean a little bit Hell left. Yeah, like it's just We're like part this. of this great country. <laughs> working class workforce. <laughs> exactly. Trump 2024. Bring him back. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me dude i can't wait for someone to try and cancel me for being conservative when i go shut the fuck up i think that yeah, that's, that's the... gonna be your defense literally that's my defense about everything <laughs> how can you cancel dude i got cooled the other day and i had nothing yeah like i told a guy what to do at work the other day and he just goes cool and i was like i had nothing i had nothing <laughs> like, he, 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 dude i'm a man and he cooled me he, and he's yeah. a bitch He's a bitch and he cooled me and I couldn't do anything. Well, I think by transitive property there, that makes you bitch or bitch adjacent. I mean, at uh, least. Beta yeah. bitch. Oh, beta I'm beta bitch. bitch. He's oh. alpha bitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm a beta oh, bitch. Oh, okay. interesting. Do you feel like though, without, like now that we haven't done comedy for so long, you're not as like quick? Oh, yeah. is, that, is that just a backhanded insult? No, of, no, no, no. Hey, I, buddy, pick up your fucking up. talent. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast is going to shit. You ain't quick. I just like checked the time and I'm trying to land the plane. Funny anymore? No, dude. Like my <laughs> producer, my producer said that same thing uh, on, on 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 an adjacent podcast that I'm a part of. Oh, the wonderful Lex, who um, po- who produces an unknown podcast. Yeah, in yeah. The yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. She, she, she said that. She goes. Uh, she says since you haven't been doing stand up, like, like your shit's still funny. Like, cause she's a good producer. She's still like. Yeah, putting, putting it, your pumping tires. the tires. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but then she goes, "But you're not as quick, hey." And I was just like, "Well, fuck you." Yeah. See, she needs to give you criticism in a shit sandwich. We learned is that uh, well, you give yeah. a little bit of good my dick and when then, you fucking tell me that. Well, exactly. I mean, if that was that only, would that would that is a shit sandwich. I had to go to yeah. HR because she tried yeah. sucking my dick. I was just like, "Hey, come on, like we're in a professional." Hey, work. you're not a minor. Like, She's so, not. No, no, no. Exactly. She's a producer. So She's got a you, real job. So what the fuck are you doing down there? I know. I, yeah. Should have got the cops involved, but yeah. you know all cops are bad, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. We have we have, yeah. we support that stance actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> of everything that you've said, that's the only thing that we can really get behind. <laughs> we did do we did do an album called Cop Stabber that we will did. never be released. Yeah, yeah. This is our, like you're the second guest that we're actually like, allowed the, to the, the, yeah. at this yeah. point. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're always hearing this. Congratulations! I signed off on this fucking podcast. Yeah. We will offer any guest. Oh, if you, um, tell you can us pull not the to Put this out. We won't honor that that request. This I love is going that. out either. Wait, so way. is it going to be reverse? Like so if I say put it out tomorrow, 
it's going to not come out. Well, if well, you tell us to put it out tomorrow, say, then we're going to have to edit it. It's going to be a pain in the ass. We're we're already have say, one because no, you have so not, much work in the post. Not, that's yeah. not the schedule. No. It's next I'm, Monday. Right. I'm on your schedule. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or today for the listeners. Yeah. Today, yeah, today exactly. It's com- coming out. Dude, it's how already fuck came is it trying to think? Like, that's why time doesn't exist. That doesn't yeah, it's Because, like, this, this happened. Like, to anyone actually listening to this, this already happened. Mm-hmm. This already fucking happened. And they're listening to it going. <laughs> Like it's happening to them right now, right? Well, I hope yeah. they have a more you guys are fucking idiots. Yeah. Hey, Jesus. hey, wow. this is a message from the past. <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots, <laughs> dude. You're, <laughs> yo. If you want to know who I am, welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Peter Grant, everybody. My roommate just walked into that shot and just lost his fucking mind. As I'm just like, ever. you guys are fucking idiots. He walks in, just going, okay. <laughs> Well, Peter, I got to say thanks for coming on and bringing us an album that, uh, that we I talked we, so much about. That we uh, successfully <laughs> avoided talking about. Yeah. Well, yeah, we really did. I mean, there were sultry, there were sultry kind of grooves and stuff. It's one of those things like, you know, when, when you're having sex and you only have four moves, right? Yeah. And you pull them out like right at the beginning Wait, of the you album. Have four? Yeah, man. It's pretty sweet. Oh, thanks. Yeah, dude. Um, Jackie, so this, how many this album four? reminds me of that, Ten. you know, kind of. Ten. Thing, right? Yeah, well, got a whole I was waiting for like them. a horn section or something to come through, so he just That's like stomps and fiddles the whole thing. Oh, is that right? Does oh yeah, get... we'll get into it next podcast. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you're gonna be invited back. Yeah, I'm bringing Harry Styles <laughs> with me, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fucking dress up next time. I will. Dude. I'll wear a fucking three piece, exactly. and I'll bring in. Uh, and maybe we'll let you say the name of your podcast. Maybe. 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 Probably not. No, reparations are still. Reparations are still needed. Hey, do we do we bump mics at the end of it? I don't like, know. How do, you, how do you guys end this shit? Because you clapped at the start, which was baller as fuck. How do you end it? I just well, say, let's get the fuck out of here. Well, why don't you just fucking watch and learn? Okay. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs>